World War I was the most destructive war to that point in human history. It encompassed the globe, from Australia to Europe, from Japan um, to uh, South America and Africa. The results of the war were definitive for the 20th century. The war destroyed historic empires. These included the Hohenzollerns, the Romanovs, the Ottomans, and the Habsburgs. These empires had dominated European politics for hundreds and hundreds of years, and they all disappeared in the cauldron of World War I. Thus, the war had an impact on the world, and particularly on Europe, uh, for well beyond the end of the war in 1918, and perhaps even until today. The domestic impact on the uh, politics of the um, warring nations brought about social and political changes that in 1914 had been thought to be utterly impossible. As a result of this, we study World War I because it is a prime example of unintended consequences. The nations and empires who had entered the war had no idea of how the war was going to turn out. Now, they had their ideas and they had their war aims and they had every kind of thought about what they wanted to get out of the war. Basically, none of them got what they wanted out of the war. The war is a concrete example of how individual judgment and impersonal consequences come together to cause an event that no one had anticipated. So the war then is a prime example of be careful of what you uh, wish for because you may wish for things that never occur and you may wind up with things uh, that are far different and far more destructive than you ever could have anticipated.